Hello, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Sophie, in case you're new around here. I thought I would start off a brand new vlog today because I have so much to catch up on, I feel like. It hasn't been that long, but for some reason, I just feel like I've got so much to tell you, so much to catch up on. My mom and I went to the mall a few days ago just to buy her new iPad because she's a real estate agent now and she's killing it. And so she needs an iPad to do all of her businesswoman stuff. But of course, I had to go pop into a couple stores and see what was up, see what was new. H&M is actually really cute right now. I got two, no, I got three really cute dresses from H&M. Um, that I will show you. I'm very happy about them. And I also went to American Eagle and they were having a sale. I feel like they're always having a sale, but I got like four things from American Eagle that I wanted to show you. And apart from this little haul, I just feel like I've been buying a lot of stuff lately. Like I bought a new juicer. I've been like really getting into juicing and all the raw food things. I know I've spoken about my raw food journey in the past couple of vlogs, but I am feeling so great, you guys. I started on June 1st, here's a little update for you. I started on June 1st doing completely raw vegan. Um, I just woke up that morning and I was like, okay, it's the first of the month, the first of like the summer months, and I just wanna get it together. And I'm so sick of not feeling great and just not feeling good in my skin and not confident. I know I've spoken in the last couple vlogs about kind of my weight loss journey and raw food and like my, my experience with raw food. And I was talking a lot about how I wanna be really balanced and not be like all or nothing. Um, and I still totally feel that and wanna be like that. But I woke up on June 1st and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna eat raw food today, fruits and veggies and salad and just see how I feel. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until I don't want to anymore, basically. So I started this on June 1st. It is currently June 9th. I've been doing it for nine days, which is so exciting. Um, and I genuinely feel better than I felt in years. Like, it's so crazy. I have not been bloated for nine days and I'm constantly, like my stomach always hurts and I'm always super bloated. I'm always like having to unbutton my pants and that's totally changed already. I think I lost like three pounds in the first week doing it, which is great. And most importantly, I'm just genuinely feeling so much better. I feel way more full of energy. I feel, like I said, my digestion is working way better. I'm not bloated at all. And I'm just feeling really good doing this. So I'm gonna continue doing it. We do have a trip coming up to Vegas. Sorry, I feel like this is just like a big brain dump update, life update situation, but we're gonna go to Vegas. Um, in like less than a week we leave on monday i think today yeah today's wednesday and we leave on monday the 14th there's a trade show in vegas every year that we go to for my dad's company so that's why we're going to vegas we go every year it's super fun we always end up going to like amazing restaurants and shows and just having little adventures around vegas like zion national park we might be going there we're still trying to figure out our plans um after the trip because it's josh's birthday coming up and father's day so we want to like tag on a fun little trip after the trade show is over. We don't really have anything planned in concrete right now, but I'm very excited for that. It'll be like a little mini vacation after the work trip. I'll definitely vlog our whole Vegas trip. I'm excited for that. I can't remember why or how I brought up the topic of Vegas, but, um, oh, I think it was because that's when I'll probably stop eating 100% raw vegan um, and just start eating like regular and healthy again, <laughs> like a more balanced diet. There's just so many amazing restaurants in Vegas that we love to go to. I think we're gonna go to Nobu, which I've never been to before, but I did book us a reservation. So I'm excited for that. So Nobu will probably be my first real meal that's not raw vegan, which is very exciting. Um, worth the wait, hopefully. I don't want to go crazy because I feel like I will feel really horrible if I just like gorge myself on regular food after eating this way for so long and feeling so good. So I don't want to like overdo it, but I definitely will like indulge a little bit and enjoy myself while we're there not deprive myself because... Your girl loves food and I love a good restaurant. That's the plan, that's the update with me. I'm feeling amazing, I'm very excited about it. Hopefully you love chatty vlogs because I've been talking your ear off. I feel like this has just been like a big brain dump session where I just like update you on everything what I'm thinking and what's going on. But I think it is time that I show you the cute new summery clothes that I recently purchased. I'm currently wearing a couple of them actually. So let me show you. Let's walk to the mirror. Okay, I'll show you the H&M stuff first. This is a cute little dress I got from H&M. I think it's so cute. It's very me. It's very like, you know, flowy, oversized, super, super comfy material. Love that it has leaves. Um, here you can see what it looks like up close. 
I just really, really love it. Sorry, there's like laundry on the couch that's not been put away yet. I feel like the length is really great as well. It's not too short, it's not too long. Um, what size did I get? I got it in a size medium. Oh, and I also need to show you my new little sandals. They're so cute. I'm obsessed with them. They're from Aloha's. I ordered them a couple months ago, actually, and they were like a pre-order situation because they're all sustainable. Excuse my chubby toes, my neon pink chubby toes, but I just think they're super beautiful. They're really, really well made. They were a little pricey but I think worth it. Okay, I wanna quickly show you everything else I got because I need to leave the house in like 15 minutes. I'm gonna show you what I got from American Eagle. I'm not gonna try on these things because they're kind of self-explanatory, but I will try on the other two dresses that I got from H&M to show you what they look like on. But from H&M, I got this adorable little cropped tank top. Look at those colors. I just thought it was super fun and bright and summery. Um, to wear under like a little cardigan or just by itself. I got in a size medium, super comfy, stretchy fabric, and I love the tiny, really thin little spaghetti straps. And then I got another little tank top from American Eagle as well. I got in a size large because I didn't want it to be like super skin tight. Um, but yeah, just a basic little creamy white uh, tank top. It's also a little bit cropped, but not super cropped. Honestly, my house has the worst lighting of all time. Can't wait till we move so I have better lighting for the vlogs. Fun fact, a reason why I don't vlog as much as I want to is because I just don't get the best lighting in this house. And I know that sounds like a really lame excuse, but it really drives me crazy. It's not that we don't have a good lighting in the house because the house is actually super bright and there's lots of light in here, but the angles that I wanna shoot from are like backlit because like that's cute. But if I showed you the angle behind me, it's not cute. So it's like a trade-off. Do you want the cute background that's like backlit with not as great lighting or amazing lighting, but like not a very cute background? This is the dilemma. But anyway, like I was saying, this tank top, super soft, super comfy. Just like a basic little white tank. It's cropped, great to wear under like a blazer or I don't know, anything or just by itself. Um, and it has adjustable straps. So I got two tank tops and then I also got two t-shirts. The first one being probably the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my body. It's just this little tie-dye shirt. And it's pretty long. It's longer in the back, which I like because it like covers my bum when I'm wearing leggings. My plan for this shirt is pretty much just to like wear it for workouts and pajamas and like super casual running errands probably. Um, I got it in a size large. It's super like stretchy and soft. I can't even explain this material. It's like butter. Sorry, I'm not doing it justice showing you right now, but there you go. <laughs> I will link everything below by the way, of course. I am so embarrassed right now. I just went to go get the last shirt to show you that I got from American Eagle. I wore it yesterday, spilled stuff all over it. So it's disgusting and a mess. I just pulled it out of the dirty laundry basket. Um, but it is very cute, incredibly soft, so nice. Such a thin, nice summery material. I'm embarrassed to show you, but I got it in a size medium and it has these little seashells all over it. It's super oversized. There's all the nasty stuff that I spilled all over it. I think I got that on it when I was making myself a little hot chocolate last night. I've been making these really yummy, like not totally raw vegan, but like really clean hot chocolate drinks at night just for like something warm and satisfying. And yeah, I think that's what I spilled on it last night somehow. But anyway, just a cute little seashell sh shirt <laughs> that's hard to say and it has the little names of each type of seashell and i just thought it was a super cute summery little shirt to wear i've also worn it to work out in already um i've worn this like three times already and i've only had it for like a week so again cannot express to you how soft this is i'll link everything below i don't know if it's still on sale or not but when i bought that stuff on my receipt it said i saved 37 dollars. so that was amazing okay now i'm gonna try on this little number this black dress from h&m so see you in a sec okay it's always kind of hard to show black items on camera because it just doesn't really show the detail but if we get up close you can see what this fabric looks like sort of got these little subtle stripes all the way down super flowy and fun and i'm excited to like 
dress this up and down for summertime. I actually think it looks really cute with these sandals. I also quickly want to say, I know in the last vlog, I was talking about how insecure I was having my arms out in that green dress and that I was returning it. I did end up returning that dress, but for some reason in this dress, even though it's like the same situation where you can like fully see my arms and like the area that I'm really insecure about, I just don't feel as insecure. And I don't know if it's the dress I think it's more so that I've just been really taking care of myself and my health and I've been eating really well, like I said, for the past nine days and working out more and I know I haven't like, my arms really don't look different yet, but just the fact that I've been taking care of myself and like just feeling better from within, I feel like that confidence is coming out. It's genuinely crazy how much my mindset has shifted already in only less than 10 days. It's so crazy and I'm just, yeah, I'm feeling so much better, more like myself, more confident and just happier in general, so yay. Also, I got my nails done a couple days ago. I'm waiting for it to focus. How flipping cute are these nails? I actually got them done about a week ago. I think they are so cute and fun and summery. I'm loving them. And the last little H&M dress that I got is this one. Probably wouldn't wear it with these sandals, but I just think it's super cute, so simple. I don't even know what you would call this kind of dress, but I like the cute little straps. Um, I probably would wear this with a little something around my shoulders and my arms. Maybe something like this. This little shawl. My mom actually let me borrow this. I don't know where it's from, but it's so soft and lightweight and summery. Um, but yeah, just like a little cute piece of fabric to cover the arms. Just make me feel a little bit more confident and like add a little interest to the outfit. Um, yeah, like I said, probably wouldn't wear it with these sandals, but cute little pair of heels or like Thinner strappy sandals will be cute. I'm sure I will be wearing all of these dresses in Vegas next week. I hope you enjoyed that little haul. I'm actually about to go head back to the mall right now. I've got to get my AirPods checked out. I'm also just taking my little stepsister on like a girl's day to the mall, which will be fun. Um, I'm probably gonna go to H&M again and see if they have any new stuff because like I said, they're kind of killing it right now at the moment. So. Maybe I can find a couple more little summer pieces to share with you guys. Not sure what I'm gonna eat at the mall. That's always a struggle when you go out in public. Like I'm totally fine at home to be eating raw vegan. Like I don't crave anything. I don't like, it's totally easy at home. But when you go out and you're hungry, it's like, what am I gonna order at a restaurant? So you don't just wanna be eating plain salad leaves with no dressing. So that's, we're gonna figure it out. I am gonna drink this big old green juice right now i'm probably on the way to the mall so i'm not like super hungry when we get there but this is pear spinach green apple a little bit of pineapple mint i think that's everything that i put in here um i made it yesterday josh had a little bit this morning that's why some of it's gone but it was filled up this these jars are so amazing they're the weck jars um, I got them off of Amazon and they're amazing. They are they're like airtight sealed I got the ones that are a liter because I'm drinking a lot of juice and I just needed big jars <laughs> So yeah, I will link this below as well if you're interested in these jars, but I think they're so cute I just have to be careful not to spill this on my dress because we all know me I get everything I wear stained I came back from the mall. It is several hours later now and I didn't vlog at the mall just because we were just having our girl time and it just didn't feel like a vloggy type of situation. We shopped around a little bit. We got something to eat. I actually had the most amazing salad from Chipotle. It was so good. I never get salad there. But now that I'm on this new health journey, I think I'm gonna start ordering salad every time I go to Chipotle because it was genuinely so good. I definitely practiced some self-discipline <laughs> and did not shop very much. I only actually bought one thing the whole time at the mall. I got this. If you guys have seen any of my videos, I feel like you probably know that I'm obsessed with Kosas. Um, all their makeup is amazing. I actually already have this lip oil, but in the shade fruit juice, which is like a much brighter pinky color. And this one is called Dip, and it's a lot more sort of subdued. It's like your lips, but better kind of vibe. And I really, really like it a lot. I find it hard to apply lip stuff without looking in the mirror. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. It's really natural, but you can still like tell that there's something on my lips. It's just very pretty i love it the formula of these is so amazing as well it just feels like butter like it's so comfy on my lips and it's moisturizing and it's clean i just love kosas they're honestly amazing and how cute is the packaging so stinking cute 
that's what it looks like if it'll focus. Focus, there you go. The reason I wanted to sit down and have a quick chat right now is to show you this amazing new brand that I found. I don't even know if it's new, it's new to me, but it's called Dossier and they are a fragrance company. This is not sponsored in any way, but I actually found out about them through my friend Victoria. She's like my YouTube Instagram friend. We never met in her life, but she's awesome. You should check out her YouTube channel. She's like a great blogger, I love her. But she recently worked with Dossier in a vlog that she did. And it was the first time I ever heard of them and I was like, oh my gosh, where has this company been all my life? I need to try this out because it sounds too good to be true. Let me read what it says. I pulled it up my, on my phone. It's cruelty-free, clean ingredients, no markups, very, very affordable, beautiful fragrances. All of their fragrances are inspired by other luxury, like iconic classic fragrances, which is so amazing because those are very expensive as we know. They have so many amazing scents that are inspired by all of my favorite luxury fragrance brands like Diptyque, Jo Malone, Le Labo, all of those like ridiculously expensive, nice, fancy fragrances that I'm obsessed with and that I pay big bucks for um they basically recreate those same formulas but like in their own version and it costs like 30 dollars for a bottle it's so crazy it's amazing i'm obsessed when victoria was talking about this i was like i'm obviously gonna order like a whole bunch and see what i think um so i actually ended up ordering three bottles they came in the mail the other day i've already tried them all out because every package that you get comes with a little tester so you can actually test out the scent before you like open the bottle and spray it out of the actual bottle um and they th i'm pretty sure they do free returns i need to figure that out because i actually want to exchange one of mine for a different one so the first one that i want to talk about probably my favorite scent that i got is this one it's called citrus tea but it is okay focus 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 Okay, it's been a struggle to make this focus, but this is what the bottle looks like. It's a very beautiful, very chic. The top is like magnetic, which is just, it just feels like really high quality. I love it. It comes with a little card and it tells you like all of the notes, what it was inspired by, the concentration, um, and a little bit about how the company works. This particular fragrance, Citrus Tea, was inspired by Le Labo, the Noir 29, which is a fragrance that I actually used to have and love. Um, it's a beautiful, okay, let's read the notes because I'm terrible at explaining things, but it says, uh, top notes are bergamot, fig, and black tea. Middle notes, bay leaf, tobacco, jasmine, and vetiver base notes cedarwood musk hay peach and incense i know it's hard hearing all those notes to like try to imagine what it would smell like because it's a lot going on but it is just such a unique beautiful scent i would consider it more of a nighttime like date night sort of fragrance it's not like really heavy or it definitely smells fresh but at the same time it has sort of like a sexy nighttime vibe it is like addicting to smell i'm just gonna spray some it definitely has that like woodsy sort of earthy musky vibe but it still smells really fresh and like bright if that makes sense it's so beautiful i really am obsessed with this one so yeah this is definitely my fave out of the three that i ordered um but i genuinely like all of them i actually just want to quickly look up how much the noir 29 from lilabo costs because it is identical i wish i had like a little sample of the actual lilabo one to smell them side by side and compare because from what I remember, like it smells identical. It's so crazy. I feel really dumb right now. I just realized that the Noir 29 is actually Tea Noir 29, like black tea. That's the name of the fragrance. Duh, it's spelled T-H-E, but it has like a little thingy over the E, so it's like French. I think it's French. <laughs> anyway, besides the point. The Noir, Tea Noir 29 from Le Labo, 1.7 ounces. $192. That's the exact same size bottle that you get with Dossier, but mine was $39. Okay, the next one I got is called Floriental Tuberose, and the bottles look the same, by the way, except the color of the text on them, on the name. Um, this one has top notes of orange blossom and rose, middle notes of tuberose and daffodil, base notes are benzoin, musk, and orris. Not sure what those are. 
but it is stunning if you like floral scents this is so beautiful it actually reminds me a lot of a candle from anthropology i can't remember the name of the candle it's so beautiful i am such a sucker for orange blossom and that's definitely like the main note that i'm getting when i smell this Mm, it's so so pretty this one was actually inspired by a diptyque fragrance called dosun and i don't think i've ever actually smelled that particular diptyque fragrance but diptyque is so stunning i love their candles i've had a couple diptyque fragrances in the past and i adore them i would like to smell the actual diptyque fragrance in dosun and see how similar it is but we have oranges in our yard orange trees in our yard and when the blossoms come out for like a couple days a year i'm in heaven it's like my favorite smell in the world and this is very orange blossomy it's very floral a little bit sweet but not too like it's not sickly sweet at all it's just like a fresh sweet bright happy sunshiny summery fragrance i just think it's so beautiful especially for daytime i would definitely wear this as like a daily situation i'm definitely keeping these two because they're just amazing and you really cannot beat the price i feel like this is going to be my daytime summer go-to fragrance and this will be my nighttime date night going out fragrance okay and the third bottle that i got i think i'm actually going to send it back i might exchange it and try something else just because i like want to smell everything that they have <laughs> but this one is called floral pear the top notes of this one are pear bergamot watermelon and rhubarb middle notes Keens, rose, freesia, orange blossom, and base notes are woody notes, musk, and amber. This one was actually inspired by a Jo Malone fragrance. I haven't sprayed out of this bottle yet because I've been using the little sample that they gave me since I'm pretty sure I'm gonna send it back. Um, but it is very, very beautiful. I don't dislike it at all. Like I genuinely think it's really beautiful and Josh absolutely loves it. He's, I think it's his favorite one to be honest. I just need to smell this again. Yeah, it smells like straight up pear to me. Like it's a very in your face pear and it's nice, but I just don't think it's like quite me. Okay, so that was all the fragrances that I got. Like I said, I'm gonna keep these two, Floriental, Tuberose, and Citrus Tea. They don't have the catchiest names, I will say. I wish they had more of like a vibey name so I could remember them easier and say them e more easily. But anyway, I love them. I love the price and the quality and that they're clean and cruelty free and they don't have any like weird gross chemicals in them i you gotta love that you gotta respect it that was a really long little non-sponsored segment all about dossier um i just wanted to share them because i'm genuinely so excited and i was just so surprised and like delighted to find this brand through my friend victoria since she did a collab video with them. I'm gonna link her video below where she did a, where she worked with them and talked all about it. You guys can use her code. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but if you go click through to her video, you can find the code in her description and then watch her video because she tries a bunch of different fragrances that I don't have, um, that I didn't get to try yet. So yeah, I'm gonna go get this house in order and maybe I'll vlog a little bit later or maybe I'll just continue this one tomorrow, even though I'm gonna try to get this vlog up tomorrow, so. This is going to be a quick turnaround, but I think I can do it. <laughs>